Check it out. I'm inside Dell's AI factory, learning how AI is defining the next industrial revolution. I am getting a look at real-time generative AI, and I'm told this all wasn't possible six months ago. It calls for an outfit, but for good reason, right? With our Precision 7960 workstations and video graphics cards, we are able to do real-time transformation of uh, video feeds. Dell is bringing some rationality to this circus that is AI. So some people try to pet the robot dog, so that's always a, a safety hazard. So, you know, so things have gotten first. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So join me on this AI tour. It'll be a fun ride. Buckle up. Hey Andy, what's an AI factory? The Dell AI factory is our comprehensive approach to integrating AI, offering the broadest range of solutions with new infrastructure, partnerships, and services. Andy is a digital assistant on display here inside Dell Tech World, one of the many AI devices meant to streamline the adoption of the technology in an enterprise's environment. As you can see, she's more human-like than other bots we've seen before, and that's important. Here's why. There's a lot of companies out there that are focused on video generation, but you can't talk to a video. It's not bi-directional. And it's why we have tutors and teachers spend one-on-one -on -one time with our students and, and, and others is because we understand that one-on-one -on -one interaction is very important. Now, all these demos look to solve some of life's biggest challenges, but enabling them to function as simply as we just saw isn't easy. Let's step behind the curtain and see how Dell is changing that. This is a look at Dell's PowerEdge portfolio. Servers built with more automation and cooling technology all fit for today's complex AI workloads. Davey, you tell me this is a great way of how Dell is bringing the AI factory to life. Tell me more. In the design of these particular systems, we can support a number of different components to actually power your AI factory including a selection of from our from our, our from our partners Nvidia, AMD and Intel all play a big part in being able to deliver the democratization of AI to you our customers. Now you say the the big game changer here is the ability to bring power, tremendous power on prem to power those AI solutions. Tell us more. So around that, so when we have the conversations with our customers, we always want to make sure that we have a holistic conversation that includes the performance that these particular systems can bring when they're training their models, but we also want to talk about the entire picture where we're talking about what's the cooling requirements, how much power do you need. Unfortunately, with the power and performance and the needs for cooling over time, air just probably won't get it done. We're going to need some other types of solutions to be able to cool these beasts as they're actually training those models. And to do that, we've introduced a liquid assist cooling that you see here in the middle and direct liquid cooling down there at the end. And you don't have to go far to see the PowerEdge in action. We've got some exciting stuff we're going to show you about how you can take a synthetic environment and turn it into real outcomes for humans in the real world. So first, it all starts with, you know, a fantastic server here. Right now we've got the 760XA. We're running four NVIDIA L40 GPUs that are really, really well suited for building these synthetic worlds. In this case, what we have is we've got this industrial facility and we're using NVIDIA Omniverse to build out this industrial facility. And then we're using the Isaac simulation environment from NVIDIA as well to take this autonomous mobile robot and train it on this facility. What everybody really wants to see is after you train something, you know, in, on synthetic data and build custom models that we've done here, we actually built a custom model to take things like chemical spills. Unfortunately, we're not, well, fortunately, we're not able to do chemical spills live here. So we've got simulated chemical spill. And this is the first time this Nova Carter robot, a partnership between Segway and NVIDIA, has actually seen this real world example. It's been trained on synthetic data and uh, you'll see up here on the screen, you'll see it's detecting, uh, well, it's detecting its buddy, a robot dog, a safety cone. And once it finds its way around, it will also detect this synthetic chemical spill as well. And I bet you didn't expect to see a farm at a tech show. 
Check out how Nature Fresh Farms is using VX Rail and PowerScale to produce tastier veggies. Yeah, what we're looking at is we find a sustainable way to grow the peppers, to grow them. And we're using AI to help us optimize that growth pattern. So let's point out how the technology, uh, you know, it fits within this structure here. Where are the sensors? Typically we'd have sensors in the middle here watching for the light coming in, the light from the lights that are showing here now. We'd have a sensor monitoring what the water came out of this tube into the plant what comes out of the plant in the bottom, the CO2 levels of the system, like what, what levels of CO2 they're getting, all everything we monitor so that way we can optimize that light pattern so we know exactly what's going on. Uh, you name it, humidity, everything, we, we watch it all. We watch the weather patterns. So how do we look at the weather and it's gonna say it's gonna get colder outside, it's gonna be cloudier in the afternoons, We'll look at doing more irrigation in the morning because the plants don't usually want to be irrigated. Then we'll turn the lights on to compensate. So clearly AI is touching every device within a customer's IT environment, from the PC to the data center to this guy here. It's everywhere. So tech it out. It's coming your way very soon.